at what age did you discover that you had a passion for sports journalism? Well, I think back, um, I probably it was probably there um, even from as a very young kid when I really step back now, um, probably from the age of uh, as early as I can remember, which is about the age of five or six, uh, I would uh, devour, um, you know, even you know, as soon as I could read, I suppose, or even probably before I could, um, devour the, the sports pages. We used to get the age delivered at home. Uh, and I would, you know, at the very, probably at the very early days, I was looking through who everyone tipped and maybe looking through the teams. And um, maybe as my grasp of the English language got better, I'd probably read more of the actual stories themselves and look at the pictures. And I remember getting, going to the, going to um, games as a kid and, would, you know, I would love to get the footy record and read through that stuff. And my, I'd have my dad would record games um, and then I would, uh, the, the night games and, you know, back in the VHS days, um, probably yep, dates yep. a bit, but uh, which, um, and, and watch them the following morning. Uh, so certainly immersed myself in right, listen to the games on the radio from a very young age. And what about for yourself? Like, were there strong influences um, that you looked up to or mentors, so to speak, that um, you would catch up for coffees or remotely over the phone, however it might look? Or was that something that wasn't really um, possible until you sort of were working in a, in a place like the age and you're in environments? Uh, you know, it was a bit of a networking thing. Like, I, you know, through, my dad knew someone who's sort of loosely involved in it and, and you know, they caught, caught up the coffee with them. But... And, and, and little things like that, you're sort of just taking any sort of half connection you might have here or there and trying to sort of, you know, get some sort of advice. But in terms of major mentors, um, uh, early days, a couple of people I'm very grateful for, um, over, you know, really for, again, I, I owe a lot to them, um, are um, Ash Brown, who's uh, still very much in the sports media and um, the senior writer at the AFL record. What about some challenges? Is there one that stands out, a particular challenge in your career to date? And and what did you learn and and how did you grow from it? I think the challenge comes, the challenges, the challenges are ongoing and every day you pose the new set of challenges, which is, can be tight, which, which makes it a, 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 an interesting job and, and and a stimulating job, but also a, um, the, hence sometimes a stressful job so that's sort of the, the the eternal tension between that is the is the part of it that, that's you know you're always on to the next even if you have a good day you're always you just move on to the next one um uh i think the hardest days have been ones where i've sort of felt real where i realized i've, I've got things wrong um or at least gone too early or just or, or, or a bit too hard or too far on things. What about like those stories where, um, like you said, you reflect on them and you're like, well, I, st- I still went through my process that has served you, um, but there was just a timing uh, judgment where you went a little bit earlier than, you know, in hindsight, uh, and then you cop it in social media and, and, you, and you, you know, um, the way it unfolds, like the, the North Melbourne one. Um, how do you manage that? I mean, that would be very similar for high performance athletes, uh, celebrities. How do you deal with yeah, that judgment on a um, public you know, scenario like that? Yeah, look, it's hard. It, 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 it can be. Um, and um, oh, I want to say it's hard. Like, it, it can wait, especially when they're people. It's funny, like, if it's just people who just abuse you, I'm actually not as upset. It just, I like, you know, often it's more a water off the duck's back. They're just sort of outright abuse and you don't respect someone's, and, and I, I can just tell that they're just trolling. That's actually almost easier because um, I just sort of disregard their opinion because I just feel as though they're, they're, they're doing it to get a rise out of you. Whereas sometimes if it's someone who you might actually respect um, or someone with you know within the industry of credibility and sometimes people should go at you you know even if it's not even if it's not a on social media it might be a, you might get a message from someone in the industry who just was unhappy with the way something was reported which movie or tv series can be a book as well has impacted you the most and why this is nothing to do with journalism this is just <laughs> uh yeah i think look i think ultimately um it's probably the simpsons or seinfeld just because i've just just because I sort of immersed myself in it as a kid and even into my adolescence and probably my twenties, but um, both both those shows, but particularly Simpsons. I think I just grew up with the Simpsons. So I quote quoted all the time. 
um, it, 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 um, I don't think I necessarily learned any great philosophical things from it, but it probably shaped my sense of humor and, and that Seinfeld did too. Um, yeah. There were some books. I, I, I actually reckon I just, I, some of the books we did at high school, like Catcher in the Rye really resonated with me. 